What's going on my friends, Vitae Dubin is here, happy Thursday and welcome back to another episode of Today's in Crypto Show. We are seeing the Bitcoin pump is a little bit over right now, we are seeing the crypto prices are going down today and I want to show you in this video where I'm seeing Bitcoin price in the immediate short term since we are broken down our bullish flag. I'm going to show you what's happening that is so negative on the news right now. Where I'm seeing Bitcoin you can potentially scoop it up cheaper and uh, I'll share with you also some positive news today. So looking at the Bitcoin price I show you that uh, on an hourly chart we have been in this uh, bull flag pretty much since uh, 14th of January so that was uh, over the course of like five days and finally it broke down so usually uh, those bull flags are breaking to the upside but because we are so near of our resistance level right here and because on a daily chart Bitcoin was uh, well it was in an overbought area of 89 that is why I sold my Bitcoin in the immediate short term in order to pick it up a more cheaper here because I do expect uh, of this right here that we are going to slide and uh, a reasonable target right here is $19,000 and why $19,000 is because we are seeing a lot a lot of support right here one two three four five six I mean all of this period we've seen tremendous support in this uh, in this area 19 19,500 something in this area so I do expect we can retest this level of support in the immediate short term but then eventually we're going to break to the upside and the reason why we're going to break to the upside is because Bitcoin just flashed this hash ribbons minor capitulation essentially buy signal and because of this buy signal that we are seeing on the weekly chart this is very strong signal that is indicated that Bitcoin is going to go a lot higher now it doesn't mean that this is going to happen this week this week we might see a negative week right but looking at also the the weekly candle right here it's not a large weekly candle it's just a little bit of red over here which is essentially nothing It's very bullish actually for the price of Bitcoin so uh, we might see the next week maybe not this week but the next week uh, either slightly red or we're gonna see continuation uh, because of this very strong weekly candle over here I'm gonna see break this level of resistance uh, but why Bitcoin broke to the downside this is primarily because of the news of the US Department of Justice and they announced that they are going to uh, essentially they're shutting down and putting enforcement action across the very small Russian exchange beats Lato that nobody uh, heard about it and they are closing it down because it's heavily involved in facilitating uh, crypto crime but this exchange essentially if you look at the searches you can see it's from Russia, Belarus, Ukraine, Kazakhstan. Uh, this is who is actually using the exchange. Nobody in the US has actually uh, heard about Bitslato. So that's why the Bitslato announcement from the Department of Justice is so bizarre. The Department of Justice works for over a year to shut down a random tiny Russian exchange while FTX was literally a multi-billion dollar fraud right in front of them. So uh, that's there that's what caused a little bit of FUD in the short term uh, then we are having Genesis that is planning to file for bankruptcy now this is some bigger trouble that may be brewing as you know Genesis um, is being owned 1.6 billion dollars from its parent company Digital Currency Group and the Digital Currency Group has not been able to help in the recent months and raise this liquidity so now now uh, they are at the risk of actually considering bankruptcy filing if it was unable to raise cash amid a liquidity crunch situation similar to that preceding crypto exchange FTX chapter 11 filing in November so this is a big firm and uh, because of that also Gemini earn program has been in trouble since November and now the SEC is going after both of these firms Genesis and Gemini so um, yeah there is there is some FUD there, there's of course not good for the crypto market if Genesis is going to file for, for bankruptcy and it all started with giving loans 
that are uncollateralized loans to three-year capital that collapsed the, the uh, Terra Luna and it all kind of all connected. <laughs> so we're still feeling the contagion uh, from, from that event. So Digital Currency Group now holds dividends uh, for its shareholders in an effort to preserve liquidity. And um, so that's not positive <laughs> also. And we're seeing the uh, Coindesk, which is owned by Digital Currency Group, um, it is allegedly uh, going to the bankers and they're trying to uh, sell Coindesk. And Coindesk is valued maybe, maybe at $1 billion. Maybe by selling Coindesk, they'll, Coindesk, they'll be able to plug the hole uh, for, uh, for uh, Genesis. We'll see. But that is what's happening right now. Now, a bit of positive news. We see Texas lay down proposal to allow Bitcoin as an authorized state investment, it means, it means that in the, at least in the state of Texas, it's going to be a legitimate authorized investment by the state that you can own Bitcoin. So that is pretty cool. Absolutely cool. And um, what is really uh, un unsettling right now is the size of this potential risk uh, if USA can actually default on its own debt. Can USA um, start this very negative uh, turmoil, Armageddon, you know, by defaulting on his debt? Now, you can see that from the Davos elite meetings, they are majorly concerned the world's largest economy risks defaulting on its own debt for the first time in American history this summer as politicians wrangle over raising the country's debt limit currently capped at $31.4 trillion. So think about that. We have the USA that its national debt is looking like a Ponzi scheme, looking like going in unsustainable uh, manners. And if you just explain it in a very simple language, USA is spending way more money th uh, than it is earning and it's continuing borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. So does it sound like it is sustainable? It doesn't sound to me that it's sustainable. Something is going to give, something is going to pop at some point, maybe not this year, but something is going to happen. And they're continually been raising and raising and raising um, the debt limit. And now they are uh, at a point where essentially they are facing this. They have to raise, uh, they have to raise the, uh, the debt ceiling because if they're not going to raise the debt ceiling, they're going to default on their own debts. So here's what I have two ways the U.S. could default on its own debt. They're going to fail to raise or suspend the debt ceiling. And in this way, they're going to be um, in default, right? And in, in, the, in order to save this, they can again raise the debt ceiling. They can again start printing more and more and more dollars. And why it's relevant? Because this is why we love Bitcoin. This is why we love crypto, because uh, it protects from this kind of scenario where there is constantly huge huge trillions of dollars of uh, being printed, devaluing it. And what they've been done to uh, lower this inflation is going to be completely, can be, in a, you know, nullified if they, you know, if, if they raise the debt uh, ceiling, which is very likely it's going to raise the debt ceiling. They, they have to. <laughs> Otherwise, if they don't do it and they're going to not pay an interest on treasury bonds, uh, others will stop um, you know, give money to USA because the rating is going to go from triple A uh, treasury bonds to, you know, to lower and lower and lower. Uh, nobody's going to give money more to USA because they default on the interest of their own uh, treasury bonds. And it's, it's not a good scenario. It can affect the stock market. If it affect the stock market, of course, it can also affect the crypto markets as well. So we're going to see likely they're going to again raise the the debt ceiling once again to even higher levels and that means that at some point this bubble is going to pop that's why usa may be the biggest ponzi scheme because they are essentially with this process they are raising and raising 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 and borrowing more and more money and spending more than they earn and just all the time like this and it, and it cannot be sustainable uh, forever like this over the long term. 
Now, also why in the short term we might see prices going down because we're seeing a lot of profit taking is happening right now. Analytics firm issues alert saying Bitcoin Ethereum witnessing highest profit taking level over a year. And you can see it right here, highest Ethereum profit take ratio, highest Bitcoin profit take ratio, which means that a lot of profit taking is being placed right now and uh, realized profit uh, here on the Bitcoin uh, realized profit loss ratio. So people are taking profit right now in the immediate short term. Uh, so that's why we can see some continuation here, uh, I think on the $19,000 level uh, Bitcoin, and then we can rise again. But also it doesn't have to go this way. We can actually hold this level somehow, somehow $20,300 in the immediate short term and then uh, continue and uh, get back into the channel and try to get this resistance uh, here. Now, another cool thing for the Ethereum, we have National Australia Bank to launch stable coin on Ethereum. So think about that, it's gonna Australian dollar on Ethereum. How cool is that? Stable coin, NAP, National Australia Bank. It's not a bank uh, that is launching a stable, uh, a stable coin and it will launch on Ethereum. So bullish news on Ethereum. And also we have Lido's total value lock has spiked to 33% past month, becoming largest DeFi protocol by total value lock, according to DeFi Llama. And this on Ethereum, uh, users deposited $7.8 billion to reap the rewards on the validator staking service of Ethereum that is not available also through uh, MetaMask. And Ethereum now, once again, uh, deflationary ultra according to ultrasound that money we are at 0.005 percent per year we are actually the supply change is, since merge is minus 2106 so we are once again back into uh into uh, a deflationary uh, mode that is being burned uh, more than is being minted essentially and uh, despite all of this drama that is happening in crypto, we see three meme coins, Dogecoin, Bondcoin, and Shiba Inu coin combined in a monthly trading volume, $25 billion. So that's pretty high, that's pretty high. A lot of interest in the meme tokens ever since uh, Dogecoin was tweeted by Elon Musk that it is his favorite cryptocurrency. Uh, compared to Bitcoin, it's 25 billion versus 618 billion but it's still it's a lot it, it is a lot it's like uh almost five percent uh of the bitcoin trade in volume just between three meme, meme tokens uh leading the huge security upgrades a bit get exchange got a, the first exchange that used 300 million dollar protection fund right now so it's very good actually uh and they are securing both users and regulators and makes bit get exchange more um more safe <laughs> more safe to use uh it's one of the leading derivative exchanges with 8 million users uh, right now so you might want to check it out uh, if you want to trade of course in crypto uh, another good news is you can now earn bitcoin by playing chess on your phone so according to this new game new web3 game you can play chess and you can earn some bitcoin how cool is that? And lastly, I want to share with you that Elon Musk just tweeted that um, when there is confirmation of reasonable clean energy users by miner with positive future trend, Tesla will resume allowing Bitcoin transaction. And we already know that the green energy usage by miner is actually above 50 percent. Uh, it is extending right now uh, to 56 uh, percent. And that was back in July 2021. So we know that it's more than 50%. So will Elon Musk and Tesla will resume allowing Bitcoin transaction? That will be pretty, pretty bullish uh, for, uh, for crypto. So a mix of bullish and bearish uh, news today. So watch out. We did broke to the downside, this uh, bullish flag. So I'll be careful in the immediate short term. We, we got to see right now. On a four hourly, uh, we're a little bit uh, cooled off, but on a daily, we are still above 80 level. Right now it is, uh, the RSI is at 78, which is still uh, still very high. 
uh, on the daily so uh, let's see how the next days unfolds so uh, if you like this video please subscribe to the channel stay up to date with all the news and updates and i will see you in the next episode of today in crypto show